Hey, I'm Kishore, and this is my improved project idea. So we know that the primary mode of transmission of COVID-19 is through droplet particles, which settle down quickly. However, airborne transmission is still being debated, and as stated on the WHO's website, certain medical procedures can create airborne particles, which carry the virus. The virus has spread like wildfire throughout the world, infecting hundreds of thousands of people. It has caused PPE shortages, and it has caused many healthcare workers to get infected. My project aims to solve these major issues. This device was inspired by air washing systems used in thermal power plants. Here's how it works. The industrial blower at the inlet end sucks in air and passes the air into this duct system where a certain number of heating elements are positioned at appropriate intervals so as to ensure that air is heated to temperatures of about 100 to 150 degrees Celsius for at least 15 seconds. As we can see from this study by the WHO, temperatures in this range are more than hot enough to inactivate 99.9% .9 of any kind of non-extremophile viruses. This logically includes all coronaviruses, including SARS-CoV-2. Further, if required, we can apply multi-barrier protection. The air from the heat duct can be treated with high-concentration UVC light in this isolated chamber for another 10 to 15 seconds, which should kill any residual viruses. Finally, to comply with the pollution control laws, we can inject clean compressed air from the atmosphere to our heated air to cool it down before exhausting it out into the atmosphere. In hospital settings, we can have HVAC hose and arms attached to the air vents near each patient. Because it's local to each patient, the blower doesn't need to do as much work and we can have much more efficient air circulation in the room. This can be used to counter both aerosolized and also droplet transmission of COVID-19. This will help provide a much safer environment for our healthcare workers to work in. We can also use the system to disinfect and reuse PPE gear. As seen in this study, the movement generated by healthcare workers taking off the protective gear often agitates the particles back into the air and hence, once these particles are in the air again, they can be sucked in by the blower system and be purified. In a large decontamination setting, what we should have is a large airlocked room. In this room, we can have PPE equipment attached to hanger rods which are rotated at fast velocities. The centrifugal force acting on them will agitate the particles back into the air and it can be cleaned up by the blower system discussed previously. Once this is done, we can pass a low concentration of 6% hydrogen peroxide through the room. Hydrogen peroxide is a known disinfectant and it can help further disinfect the PPE equipment. Once treatment with hydrogen peroxide is over, the room can be opened and hydrogen peroxide can be vented outside the room, safely. We now have disinfected PPE equipment that can be reused. This will greatly help combat the PPE shortage. And finally, it can help us open up the country again. The battle we're fighting is very dangerous and we're treading a very fine line between saving lives and saving the economy. It is important that our country also comes out of lockdown soon. But when we come out of lockdown, there's also a huge threat of the virus spreading much faster now. There's also a lot of debate and a topic that when a lot of people gather together in the same place, aerosolized transmission of the virus may be possible. In settings like our supermarkets and public places where a lot of people will gather, we can set up machines like this to help prevent the spread of the virus.